<laughs> D, why you made it? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny James. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to combine videos as seen in Kendrick Lamar's latest video with Baby Kim. Uh, in photography, we would refer to that as a collage and it has been used very creatively to achieve the look that the video brings. Now on my timeline, I have a couple of videos which I shall use to demonstrate these. What you want to do, you are supposed to start with a video layer which is sort of like your background layer and it's bound to change. You can change that video which stays beneath other layers as the video proceeds and what i want to do i'll drag another part of this same video like this i'll put it right here right after about two seconds i'll bring this other video now you want to go to your effect controls if you cannot find it go to windows and ensure effect controls is enabled now what i want to adjust i want to adjust the scaling uh, for now i'll do something like 50 that's like half the scale. And then you can use this position adjustment numbers to move it where you want, whether it's the Y axis or the X axis, like that. In the same way, after the first few seconds go on and the second video is playing back, it's time I can introduce a third video if you want to. Now I'll introduce a different video. Now what you can do in this situation, now you can see this other video has already filled the space, so we can just go to our effect controls Make sure to be clicked on that clip, go to motion, and then you can adjust the scaling. I'll give it something like less, I'll give it something like that. And then you can also push it whether it's to the left or it's to the right, however you want it. Now, in some cases, you'll find that the videos might not fit as you really want. And that's why you can go to your effects. Let's go to our effects, first of all. And uh, if you can notice, once you click on motion, you can move this clip on the program window as, as you want. So I can place it somewhere here. Again, you might feel like you don't need to use an entire part of a frame. And that's why you can make sure to have clicked on your clip, go to your effects and look for a crop effect. I have many tutorials explaining the crop effect. You might find them useful. I'll attach them in the description box. And with the crop effect, you're able to cut out parts of a video that you don't want uh, so i'll drag my effect to this timeline to the clip and then i'll go to my effect controls right under crop you can adjust how much you want to cut this so i'll cut from the left maybe about 30 percent and then i can also do the same whether it's to the right you can adjust whatever you want at this point it's a matter of preferences and i'll cut a few parts and also on the top part just a little now if we play back the video from the very beginning let's see what we have okay now that looks okay now we can continue adding more layers and playing around to see the different looks that you can pull off with this sort of effect. Right after this that video pops up uh, we can decide to change the background layer so I'll just cut in, I'll trim that part and then I'll bring a different video all together. This one, let me drag it. And I'll place it right there. Uh, sorry, it's not scaled, so let me make sure that it fits the frame size. Yes, at this point, let me just let these videos run for a bit. I'll introduce another video layer right uh, on top of these other ones. So let me drag another clip. I'll, I'll drag this other video clip right on top of these other ones. I'll put it on my video layer 4 so you can continue stacking up. And then just as we've been doing, I'll scale this down. So you go to your effect controls and then I'll scale it to something like 50. And now you can see where it is. And as I've shown you, you can click on this motion. You are able to control where you place this video. Now we can place it right there and then since we, it doesn't necessarily need to fit everything we can just go to our effects and drag the crop effect. I had searched it so I'll drag and drop it, go to my effect controls and then I'll trim the parts that I don't really need. This time I want to do something different, I'll trim from the top, something like that and then I'll also trim from the bottom. And then I'll trim a little bit from the right to accommodate like that now this makes it 
kind of different from everything else that we've done so far so if we run it back it will just play like that and then the third video layer appears okay and just as we've been doing we can go on and drag another clip and play around with it now for this second video layer that appeared we can let it end now from here on if you've been following along now it's a matter of personal preference you can play around with how you want to arrange your clips and the different looks that you want to attain so i'll drag in a different clip now at this point i want to cut off this clip which the second the first clip which followed after the background layer i'll cut it i'll end it right there so we will go from this and then it will end and we have another video right here beneath so i'll even make sure that it ends the same time as this other clip starts now i'll make sure this second layer doesn't stay for long so i have trimmed it to this point and right at the end where it ends this other layer which we brought latest will play out from a different angle and then once that happens we can drag in another video let's drag in this video as you've been doing just go to your effect controls and scale it down i'll give it even a 65 a value of 65 and i'll also drag a crop effect so that i can choose what parts i want now this time we'll also do it a bit different i'll make it look like a vertical video so i'll trim from the left this much and i think i like it as it is already so i'll click on motion or i can just manually drag this here now with a little addition that we've made we can now preview what this looks like That's it guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing as I drop new content every week, which gives you new techniques and methods on how to make your editing better, whether you're working on music videos or any other projects. My name is Danny James and make sure to stay creative.